This is John with the latest on the NFL NFC playoff race as we go into week eight. Calculations are from my free tool at playoffcomputer.appspot.com. Check that out to use on your own fantasy league. Internet likes and shares are appreciated if you find this interesting or even if you don't. An extended discussion of this is on the Playoff Race podcast at Spotify and elsewhere, usually later in the week. Going over the big winners and losers of Week 7, the Falcons were the only 3-3 team to win and the only NFC South team to win, overtaking the Buccaneers for first place in the division. The Seahawks were the only NFC West team to win, and now thanks to a 49ers two-game losing streak, are just a half game back in that division. And the Vikings, thanks to a win and most of the 3-3 teams losing, are back in the wild card discussion. On the flip side, the Commanders were the only NFC East team to lose and now are just outside looking in. The Buccaneers with the loss to the Falcons fell out of first place and now have a tenuous hold on the last wildcard spot. And the Cardinals became the first and only team in the NFL that no longer control their own destiny. Here is the overview of each team's playoff chances. Eagles now the top bird, 91% odds to make the playoffs. The 49ers and Lions still in decent shape despite their troubles, 80% chances. Two teams at 4-2 and with the Seahawks having better stats when it comes to tiebreakers, so they have a bit better odds than the Cowboys. Falcons, as mentioned, big winner, now first place in the South, 61% chance to make playoffs. Bucks with that loss fall to just under 50-50. Host of teams at 3-4, and four. the Vikings have better records as of now that might matter for tiebreakers and lead that pack in odds. The Commanders, being in the same division as the Eagles, lag behind. All near 1-3 chances. Packers going the wrong way. Giants and Bears preserve some faint hope. Cardinals and Panthers in the low single digits. Everybody, except the Cardinals, still control their own destiny. Number of wins to shoot for as the most likely amount needed for a wild card still is around the 9 or 10 mark, closer to 9 if I had to pick one. There actually are scenarios that exist where 6 wins could get a wild card spot, but in the other direction, looks like getting the 12 wins guarantees a playoff spot. Looking at the divisions, starting with the NFC East, the Eagles built up their division lead with the impressive win over the Dolphins. Still unblemished in division and conference play, although they've only played one division game. 63% to win the division. Cowboys will have, the, will have their first opportunity to battle them in Week 9. They may need some wins over them to help improve their conference record for tiebreaker purposes, if not to get into the division fight. Commanders and Giants don't factor in the division picture at the moment, but still have hopes for a wild card. Eagles play the Commanders. Commanders with a loss would go to 0-3 in the division and lose the head-to-head -head for the season to the Eagles. Cowboys play the Rams to try to improve that conference record. Giants play the roommates, the Jets. Computer projection for number of wins needed for the division is 11. Team rankings projections are for the Eagles to preserve their slight lead with the Cowboys comfortably taking a wild card. Thanks to them for letting me use their numbers, teamrankings.com. Over in the NFC North, Lions couldn't continue on their quest to run away with the division, but still have a two-game lead and have a nice 4-1 and one conference record if needed later and are still the heavy, heavy favorite to win the division. The Vikings, however, with a two-game winning streak and maybe more importantly, not a tough upcoming schedule, are still in the division picture and right back into the wildcard race. Note the Lions and Vikings do not play each other until the end of the season when they play two of the final three weeks. Packers going backwards to join the Bears who went backwards early. Both need wins to at least be on the fringe of the wildcard battle. The big game this week will be Vikings versus Packers, 
loser would not be in a good place. Lions get the Raiders to get back on track. Bears, with perhaps a tougher test to put together a win streak, play the Chargers. Estimate for wins needed to take this division is just 10. Again, projections for wins good enough for wildcard is around 9 to 10. Team rankings has the Lions hitting 11 and Vikings at 9, which in their projections is good enough for a wildcard spot. In the NFC South merry-go-round, it is now the Falcons' turn to be in first place. About a 50-50 chance to win the division with the other 50 split between the Buccaneers and Saints. Certainly a drama-filled division as far as the odds go. The Falcons have a win over the Bucks. The Bucks have a win over the Saints. The Saints are just one and two in conference play. Everyone plays an, NA an AFC team this week. Falcons at Tennessee, Bucks at Buffalo, which is actually their first non-conference game of the year, and now they have three successive games against the AFC. Saints at Colts, Panthers will try for their first win against the Texans. Computer guess is that 10 wins will be good enough to win the division. Team rankings has the Falcons sneaking away with it at just nine in their current projections. The 49ers have decided to let the NFC West be interesting. Two-game losing streak has given the Seahawks reason to talk about the division title instead of just a wild card. Right now, it is just them in the picture. The Rams aren't too far removed from a wild card spot, though. Cardinals are just about eliminated in the realistic sense of the word. Still a few weeks until the 49ers play the Seahawks for the first time. Both currently have good conference records, should that be needed later for wildcard tiebreakers. Everyone has tough battles outside the division this week. 49ers play the Bengals. Seahawks host the Browns. Rams go to Dallas. And the Cardinals play the Ravens. Any that manage to win might be the big winner for the week. Computer says 10 or 11 will be good enough to win the division. Team Rankings projects the 49ers to get 12, with the Seahawks earning a wildcard spot. Just three intra-conference NFC games this week, looking at how they affect the playoff chances of the non-combatants in each one. Commanders-Eagles. Everyone named Commanders is better served with an Eagles win. Cowboys at Rams. Computer says, interestingly, the Bucks and Packers somehow are better off of a Rams win, as well as the Commanders. Everyone else would root for the Rams to be further out of the wildcard race. The fun one is Packers versus Vikings. Exactly half the league has better chances with a Packers win and the other half with a Vikings win, including the other two teams in that division. That's it for now. Again, my site is playoffcomputer.appspot.com. Please check it out if you play in or in particular Comisha Fantasy or other sports league or want to support this mission in Stat Geekery. Enjoy your day.